and welcome back to my channel. I'm a sock tour. For those of you who don't know me, welcome. And for those of you who already know me, welcome back again and thank you for tuning in. I just want to stop right here and thank you for the support thus far. I know I'm, you know, new to it and you guys have been super supportive already, sending me messages and commenting and liking and sharing. So I just want to just say thank you to everyone who's been on the support train. <laughs> A lot of times I get asked, how am I so successful on my weight loss journey with a growing toddler at home? And you know, people think like, you know, are you cooking three different meals? You know, um, are you forcing him to eat healthy food? I get asked so many questions. So today I wanted to just do a video on how or what I eat in a day usually. And this is pretty much a typical day in this house. I don't really change up my meals too often. I typically rotate every two week uh, meal plan. So this is pretty much like a standard food um, list in my home. And I'm gonna take you through breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then our two snacks for the day. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So here it goes. I always start my morning off with a glass of lemon water. It is super refreshing. It is a great reset to start the day. So I, I've been lately using lemon in my water just throughout the day because it gets me to drink that water that I need to drink. And with, I feel like, I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me or what, but it's, it kind of helps me to get in my eight uh, glasses of water a day. So I started doing that a lot lately. So this is my lemon water. Most mornings, I start off with a bowl of oatmeal. It is super filling. It is so much health benefits to oatmeal. And it keeps us full throughout the morning. For a snack today, we are having some grapes and a string cheese. One of my tricks I always say is to pair a carb type of snack with a fruit or a vegetable. That way you can feel fuller a little bit longer. Because if I ate the string cheese just by itself, I would be hungry in like five minutes. But the grapes add that extra fullness to it. And then... For uh, Kyrie's own, we're doing, he's doing the same thing as me, but except I usually quarter his grapes and I cut off, I cut up his string cheese in about a few pieces. For lunch today, I will be having a salad. I also am going to add tomatoes, cucumbers, sweet peppers. I have these wonton strips are super delicious and they are very low on calories. I also add for just a fun flavor, some feta cheese. And like, as you can see, it's fat free. So it's a little, super low on calories also. And then for my dressing, I'm going to be using this uh, Ken Caesar dressing. It's not too bad. It's about two tablespoons for a serving. And you get a pretty good amount of the serving. And then I also, I made a turkey cutlet last night for dinner. So Kyrie, he's going to be eating the leftover. And I also added some turkey cutlet to my salad for, for, as my protein, my other protein. And so he's going to be eating... For lunch, the turkey cutlet. I have also left over some a kale and chickpea mixture. Thanks, mom, for the recipe. And some cucumbers and mango. And then I'm going to have the salad. So, fun, fun, fun.
For our second snack, I am going to be having a single serving bag of Cape Cod chips and a fruit cup. It's like a sugar-free fruit cup. With, I think it's in water. Now, I suggest if you don't have the willpower to have a single serving bag of chips in your home, do not buy them. Chips with the fruit, so that kind of keeps me full of longer. And then for Kyrie, he's going to be having the fruit cup with some crackers and a side of peanut butter. He likes to kind of dip the, peanut, the crackers into the peanut butter, so. I am going to start off by making some roasted vegetables. This is a super easy staple, especially weeknight side in our home. All you do is get a bacon pan with a piece of parchment paper you you line up whatever vegetables you want and I usually spray a little bit of the olive oil on it and then I'll season it with whatever seasons you have in the pantry so salt pepper garlic onion powder or whatever you have a taste for This seasoning is a must in your home. It is coconut aminos. I used to be a huge fan of liquid aminos, but this is a lot less sodium. Um, and it, I think it has what, like 90? Um, so you can use this as a replacement of soy sauce. This is the roasted vegetables fresh out the oven. I, tonight I did cauliflower and summer squash. This is the final product. So all together I have quinoa, a side of red beans, some stovetop barbecue chicken, and cauliflower with summer squash. And then Colin, he wanted a little bit of pasta to go to his, so. For our dessert tonight, it's kind of random because I do have to go grocery shopping. But we are having a handful of chocolate chip Teddy Grahams and a side of pineapple. Now, just remember that pineapple is great for the immune system. It is a really super antioxidant and it also helps to ease digestion. So... I try to throw in some pineapple a few nights a week after dinner because of that factor. Um, Colin will probably have make do his own thing. He usually does when we have these random desserts. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful to someone. I hope you got some ideas. I, if you have any ideas for me, please feel free to you know message me um do not forget to like the video also please subscribe so that you can be notified of any new posts that i have and have a great rest of your day bye